welcome back guys so in today's lecture we will see how to identify your controls by anchor in x scan so let's start it so there are two parts in this particular lecture one is to identify controls by anchor in x scan and after that we will see how to create a control group so let's begin with identifying the controls by anchor in x scan so identification by anchor is another way of identifying controls it works by setting an anchor on the page that the control relates to you got my point how it works guys please listen carefully it works by setting an anchor on the page that the control relates to and for this to work anchor needs to be uniquely identifiable by its technical properties so this is very important point that the anchor should be identified uniquely okay so you can identify the anchor in advanced view of tosca scan so if you someone will ask you what is the uh, region or where you can find the anchor so you have to go to anchor view sorry advanced view of the axis scan hope you already aware of the types of views in the axis scan if not you should refer to the previous lecture where i i have explained about navigation in axis scan so there you can find condensed axis scan or the basic view or the advanced view and other stuffs okay so let's come to the point so let's begin suppose this is our particular exercise 4 and if we will first create our module we will go to scan and click on application so once we will start it this is our page before that i forgot to uh, this update the display setting to 100% so let's do it after that so guys when we will scan our application so let's scan our web shop when we will scan it Okay, so let's choose all these categories here first: books, computers, electronics, digital jewelry, gifts cards. Fine. Now, as as I said in earlier point, that our anchor should be uniquely identified. It should be uniquely identified. Uh, let's go to advance where we can see it. let's open this book okay filter increase the selected filter okay so we are here you if you will see this is books maximize it once and select more okay if you will see this is the ul which is unordered list okay so this is the anchor for books okay so we have to choose it for our anchor purpose so what we will do we will come here and we will identify by anchor okay and if you will see here is the anchor control what is our target control book is our target control which is nothing but this book the destination so we will drag this ul to that anchor okay we have dragged it now we got all the representations technical properties here now select the class name which is uniquely identified so we have done it okay now come again and identify by anchor for others okay so when you will do it 
you will drag this particular one and move it to there okay so we have to do it for each and every one okay so identify by anchor okay we got it here now select for others like uh, drag it little here okay so if you will see this ul is the container for all these categories okay so we have already moved this ul here and we have selected the class name as a uh, unique identification method okay now if you will see the relative algorithm which is nothing but there are two types of selecting the anchor one is shortest path and another is coordinate so when the system searches each tree level for the control to be identified starting with the anchor control which is suppose books it will go from bottom to up so this will be known as shortest path and on the basis of coordinate the exact position of the controls to be identified is searched by using coordinate but it depends upon uh, this is screen resolution so we will choose auto so that it will go with the shortest path first but it once it will get fail it will search with the coordinate okay so we will go to the basic we will save our work close it and when you will come to this part we can see a module is created okay now what we have to see here that we we can see that these are the modules we have now select each of them and create a group how to do that right click convert to the control group so it will get converted to new so edit it as per your name say category workshop categories okay and save it suppose in future you want to remove this group so right click convert to separate x module attributes so you can do in this way so this is the way you can identify your control by anchor and create a control group thank you guys